So just a couple of days ago at the time of this recording, the 0.6 version of ML.NET was just released. The biggest thing they added to it is they started releasing the new API for ML.NET. And so the learning pipeline API that was in the previous versions have now been moved to the Microsoft.ML.Legacy namespace. And so with the new API starting to roll out, I wanted to go over the new API and show what it is using the same example as in the previous video that showed the learning pipeline. And I'm in a .NET Core console application in Visual Studio, and I already have the 0.6 version of ML.NET installed through NuGet. And instead of using the learning pipeline class, we first create a local environment class. After that, I'll need to create a reader for our training data. And just to quickly show the data, it's the same salary data that was used in the pipeline video. It has only two columns, years of experience and a salary. So to read this in, I will need to create a reader on the text loader class. The first parameter is the environment variable, and the second is the context function to tell the reader the schema of the data. So our first column is the years of experience, and using the context, I'll say that it's a float with a position of zero. Then I'll say the second column is salary, and that it's a float with a position in the file as one. The next parameters are similar to what we used before by telling the reader that the file has a header and that it has a comma as a separator. To get a reference to our actual data, we'll use the reader object and call the read method on it. And then we'll pass in a new instance of the multi-file source class and pass the file path into that. And since we have data within our solution, I can just pass in the file name. Next, I need to create an instance of the regression context class and pass in our environment into it. And we know we need a regression here since we're predicting a value. Now with the reader object, we can create a new estimator. The estimator is what's going to learn from our data. We can add to it by calling the append method on it. And the append method takes in a function and I need to give it the column to be used as our label or target. And next is to create a trainer that I'll call prediction. To use a trainer or simply just an algorithm, we'll use the regression context object and we'll get a list of trainers on it and we'll use the fast tree algorithm. And you'll notice that Visual Studio is yelling at me that the fast tree object isn't on the trainers object. To fix this, I'll need to bring in the microsoft.ml.trainers namespace in. And within the fast tree trainer, I'll give it the label, which is a salary column, and then all the features. Since we only have one feature, the years of experience, I'll just pass that in. However, it needs to be as a vector, so I also need to call the asVector extension method on it. And now that we have our pipeline built, we can train on it. This is pretty easy to do by just taking that pipeline that was just created and calling the fit method on it. And we'll just pass in the training data. And now I can make a prediction on the model. But first to do this, I'll need to create a prediction function. Using the model that was just created, we can call the make prediction function method on it. After that, I will have to give it the input data schema and the prediction schema. If you're familiar with the Learning Pipeline API, this looks quite familiar. I'll just copy these classes in and then we'll use those for the prediction function. And then I'll just need to pass in the environment variable. To make an actual prediction on new data, we use the prediction function and call the predict method on it. And then we need to give it a new instance of the salary data object to, pre to predict on. And I'll use eight as the years of experience here. And since we have a prediction, we can write that out to the console.
Now let's run this and see how it goes. And here we go, I've made a successful prediction using the new API and ML.NET. I hope this video helps you get more acquainted with the new ML.NET API that the team has been rolling out. I will have more videos coming that goes through more scenarios and using the new API. So I hope to see you then.